Well, I um, have been working for the Indian Health Service uh, up in northern Minnesota for the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe for the last 20 years. And um, I really loved my job there. One family even adopted me into their family. And, and a whole ceremony adopted me. And then they took care of Lillian through many bouts of heart failure. And saw her almost every week. And she died and I continued caring for her husband and for years. And he you know, ultimately died too and I was there at his funeral. And I know all his kids. And my children even some know, know that family too because I sometimes bring my kids in to, to see my patients because they want to know who my kids are. And the administration, I think, has consciously made a change about a year ago to force out the physicians who were, they didn't see as productive enough. So you know, one of the physicians, another internal medicine doctor, who I actually recruited to come there because she was unhappy at her practice in California 17 years ago. I recruited her to come and she's worked with the community for 17 years and seen you know, some of the most complicated patients with such histories of trauma. And, she would spend so much time with them, and, and they um, forced her to leave by cutting her salary. And other, other people, they did the same too. And so we basically, they have a plan to find new younger doctors, the poor doctors coming up after us, who they feel have been trained better. So they've been trained uh, to see more patients. That's one of the questions they ask, how many patients can you see in a day if, at your previous practice? see more patients and, um, and work for less money and um, work full time. Slowly one by one is through the year, one <laughs> provider after another has left until I'm the only doctor there now seeing adult patients. Um, and every day my patients, because so many people have left, I, not a day goes by, my patients say, you're not leaving, are you? Please don't leave me. They, they, I love you, they say. It.